So guys, the youths who have been protesting have held a press conference and I want you to listen to what they've got to say. Call for interim government. Our response. The 2023 elections were a milestone in our electoral history, bringing it to a centennial, to a full round by September. We often wonder what thoughts may have pranked the minds of the first Nigerians who voted in the elections of September 28, 1923. But people like Herbert Macaulay were resolute in their desire to birth for Nigeria the right of franchise, which legal fabrics the Clifford Constitutions of 1922 provided. Thus, did the nationalist race began causing through a labyrinth of political development leading up to independence in 1960, reaching full franchise in 1979. The first electoral deposit of our post-colonial history was reportedly marred by widespread violence and manipulations of results. The military takeover following the failed coup of 15 January 1966 would lay the bricks for a 29-year military rule spanning five coup deters. Yes, we are all well acquainted with the horror of those years and how much of our economic might perished in the flames of corruption and mismanagement. With the return to civil rule in 1999, six years after the annulment of what is adjourned as the most free and fair election in our political history, came a new glow of hope illuminating the hearts and minds of Nigerians to pursue their dreams of justice, equity, and fairness. Political participation marked a new high. Nigerians felt their country return to their hands to mold it according to the specification of our founding fathers. However, the results have worked in the opposite direction with the expectations of ordinary Nigerians 24 years into the fourth republic with nigerians topping the list of embarrassing statistics at global regional and sub-regional levels the political class peopled by new and old politicians and political houses spread a culture of incompetence and ineptitude colored by nepotism tribalism and the regular manipulations of religious sentiments returning every election cycle to sow seeds of discord among ordinary Nigerians, leaving a scattered and scared population bared of democratic dividends behind. Apathy grew and flawed. Rigging became a popular vocabulary in our electoral lexicon. In, the most, in most states and at the center, the worst of us led the best of us to doom. We can never account for the human cost of this dark period of our democracy and how terrible our institutions were traumatized. But the weaker they become, the more power the political class amassed, giving rise to what can best be described as the golden years of impunity. Thus was Nigeria stolen from the true owners. The people and balkanized by politicians, our institutions began to bled professionally Professionals reaching an all-time high in the last decade. We became a country of refugees as the harsh economic realities activated criminal tendencies and elements outstretching the limits of our law enforcement. In 2020, the NSAS protest provided an outlet for young Nigerians to vent their displeasure with the system. It became exposed to the extent of desperation by Nigerians and how much awoke Nigerians had become. Construct a devilish plot to silence their voices. The cowardly shooting of young Nigerian 
protesters, despite holding the flag and singing the national anthem, was how low they crept into their plot. We can never fully comprehend how much trauma that unfortunate episode cost the nation and whether the victims will ever, ever recover. But hope returned in the months leading up to the 2023 general election with more Nigerians armed with clarity of what truly matters in the engagement with the system. Over 10 million new names entered the voter register. Most of them were young people, some of whom were first-time voters. So when the day came for them to cast their vote on the 25th of February 2023, it was not a repetition of the quarterly rituals, but a service to the nation, knowing that by participating in the process that recruits leaders, they hold the right to demand for accountability, but more so because the chairman of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, had promised Nigerians to the commitment of the commission to conduct a free a fair and all-inclusive poll, he made submissions locally on various international platforms assuring Nigerians and the world that the outcome will be transparent and such that it will reflect the will of the Nigerian people. This is beside the confidence that President Muhammadu Buhari signing the Electoral Act of 2022 as amended gave the willingness of Nigerians to participate in the polls. Unfortunately, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu close chose to desecrate the altar of truth and trust by collating results and declaring a winner in flagrant disregard of the INEC guidelines and the Electoral Act of 2022 as amended. We have heard calls to look and calls to look to the bright side of the election vis-a-vis -vis the positive changes that it has contributed to our electoral behavior and history. While we acknowledge that there were improvements in voter participation and particularly, we cannot help but ask on what foundation will these changes build their roots? A decision based on falsehood and fraud will always birth the same. The reason our country remained political moribund for years was due to our indifference to suppression, oppression, and injustice. This is why we have been marching for 10 days and now to call and awake our national consciousness to the barrage of illegalities committed during the presidential national assembly, gubernatorial and state assembly elections. We hope that the courts will have concluded hearing and pronouncement by May 29 to allow for the swearing in of a new president. However, in the event that the courts are unable to clear litigation before it, it lies within the legal right to direct President Muhammad Buhari to hand over to the Senate president, who will preside over state affairs until June 3rd, when he will hand over to the Chief Justice of the Federation to preside as interim president pending the resolution of cases and substantive precedents sworn in. All of this is within the bandwidth of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is the path to ensure that President Muhammadu Buhari remains within the limits of his lawful tenor, which elapses on 29th May 2023. Owing to the 60 days left of his tenure cannot suffice to call for a new presidential pool. Should the courts heed the call of the vast majority of ordinary Nigerians and order for a new presidential election? Those claiming that our submission at the Ministry of Defense was to woo the military over a possible takeover are mischievous and desperate spine doctors whose only interest is to midwife instability in our polity. Yes. Yes. Their plans will not succeed. Yes. 
our country cannot afford to return to the dark years of military dictatorship given the contributions of nigerians to political disputes in mali and gambia that is not an option or even an opinion on the said day we had rounded up visits to the u.s embassy and the high commission of britain and canada when we made a brief stop at the military at the ministry of uh, of defense to read our press statement calling on the military to stay within the law in their conduct we call on all the spine doctors who desist spine doctors who desist to desist from any further lies over our intention yes we cannot be part of any political plot to destabilize nigeria any more than it currently is by the illegality of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. For those insisting on the unconstitutionality of the call, we like to remind you that Professor Yakubu's actions are also unconstitutional and that the public deceit is a crime. The fact that he still has a job in the commission is proof of how much we have fallen into the pit of illegality no progress happens in any lawless society as of today nigeria is within the full field of lawlessness because of the conspiracy or collusion to permit that fraudulent declaration will stand may we reiterate our demand in the interest of public information and knowledge given the background of our explanation within the time limit of president muhammad buhari one sack arrest detain professor mahmoud yakubu yes. Yes. Yes, cancellation of the presidential election of 25th february 2023 yes declaration of an interim government yes, yes. Compensation of the, all the victims of electoral violence and voter suppression. Yes. We have also called for the establishment of a Truth and Reconciliation Commission in Lagos and other flashpoints during the federal and state pools for the purpose of national healing. It deserves mentioning that our group and motivation are apolitical. We are not serving the interests of any presidential election or politician. Not any candidate, for that matter. We are only challenging the illegality of the process that declared a winner in the presidential election that met every condition for failure. We are asking for the people to be held accountable for once, for once in our country. We will continue to march for Nigeria and will never stop until our demands are met. Yes. So, 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 solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. We shall always fight for our rights. Soli, 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 solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. We shall always fight for our rights. Talk about that we demand that the military take over and uh, an entry government be done. There are three conditions. Dr. Mo here made that clear, and I want that to be very, very clear to the press. The three conditions are on the event that the lower court is not able to finish this case before the 29th. 
that of May, that means there will be a handover to the Senate President. And after which the process begins. So let no one misquote us, please. This clarification is very, very cogent. Uh, uh, in the International uh, Commission, whether at the uh, Supreme Court, whether at the embassies, uh, there is nowhere, where there, even at the Defense uh, Ministry, there has never been anywhere where there was any call or plea. But uh, indeed, we saw people saying, a group of people pleading with the military to take mm -hmm. over. That was just why I say that. They, they would, thank God that Tomo called them spin doctors. Basically, those are people paid mm -hmm. to create chaos in the polity. Mm -hmm. That is not what we stand for. We stand for democracy. Uh, while we are young, some of us understand the, the horrors of the, you know, the military uh, regime. So that's not what we're calling for. It has never been a part of what we're calling for. But definitely with regards to the interim regime, he has clarified it. And we hope uh, you get to give that as much uh, uh, attention is it's, uh, it's needed. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. You took it a clarion call that of the Ghanaian Shanghai on the sun in the rain, the rain. with the education and selfishness Nigeria's Nigeria yeah, we stand. You to let us lift a nation high on that sun or in the rain with dedication and selflessness. Nigeria, Nigeria, we stand. So, guys, we all know that. The Nigerian youths are demanding that this election be cancelled. They want this election cancelled. They are insisting that this election does not represent the people's mandate. It does not represent the people's voice. And because INEC promised the Nigerian people that they were going to upload these results directly from the polling units to the INEC portal in real time, you know, but this didn't happen. And that gave way to so many manipulations and the nigerian people are saying that that they are not taking this for an election they are asking that this election be cancelled and they're also saying that the INEC chairman should be prosecuted so guys this is where we are today we are looking forward to a new nigeria a new nigeria that works for everybody a new nigeria where you know our political system will be so seamless a new nigeria where our votes will count a new Nigeria where there will be no influence during election. A new Nigeria where our elections will be free and fair. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you.